Ah, welcome to another Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. And Deepa. And quite an exciting one today because it's smoky and Deepa likes smoky. <laughs> you should charge up the viscometer. I don't think we'll see Gerben in today because it's his birthday. If he does show up, everyone say happy birthday. <laughs> Gerben, if you catch it on the replay, hope you had a good birthday. Now, we are blind tasting as usual. I will get the viscometer started and then we can chat. Where is it? I think this one was pretty viscous, so hoping to see a high number. Bottle number 196. National Parks artist, or maybe Jimmy Leg as well. <laughs> Pick this one, and you have picked a good one. So what are we doing? We are going to be blind tasting. We've almost cleared the bottom row. We're down to one layer. We're on our journey to blind taste 300 whiskies. This is number 196, so we're doing quite well. <laughs> About another year to go. So we're not winning. We're not winning the tests. We're not winning. I think we're doing pretty good overall. Of course, the fewer whiskies in the blind, the better we will get. <laughs> Maybe. Um, for the next 12 minutes, we will nose it, taste it, and hopefully rank it on the shelf. But look, even the worst thing on the shelf now is Aaron 18. So um, basically everything on the shelf is now excellent. Nurse Dave, super curious about this one. We'll watch on the replay. Very good. Oh, I see I'm reading that a little bit ahead of schedule. <laughs> that will pop up in a minute. Okay, there it is. Dave. Thank you very much. Your name, of course, will go in the hat. And we've been, uh, we absolutely need to do a, a blind, a blind name pull out. Okay, here we go. Timer has started. Oh dear, right. Let's pour something and see. No, let's not pour something. Yesterday's glass. Oh, actually that was a little bit fishy for the first time. I didn't get that yesterday at all. But it is um, dry wood smoke. It's not. A little bit of honey. It's actually um, a flower making smoke. Smoked flowers. Right, let's pour it and see. Here we go. Well, they are good bubbles. Should we go straight for bubbles? Why not? Let's get the technicals over. Oh, yes. Very good. Let's compare 50%. Looks like it might be higher. Let's add in 56. Volsgraf, what will we do after we finish our blind bottles? That is a good question. I think this is closer, closer to 56 than 50 maybe, at least on the bubbles. How's the viscometer doing? Now, um, I think, uh, ooh. a fleshy boat is very yeah. smoky, but in a bright way. Freshly smoky. Now, the colour suggests a bit of sherry, but I didn't. A bit of sherry butt, yes. Um, you're doing great. See the Kilhoman batch landed on the... Yes, we ended up putting Kilhoman here, Tim. It is good. But Deepa preferred the Lagavulin Offerman 11. I wonder if the new one's equally good. Maybe. Oh, um... timer. And... 1450, 350. Oh, that's actually very good. That comes in at 111%. So that is one of the highest that we've had. Um, certainly above average viscosity. I'm not big up Arbeck. So I would say Arbeck is out. So probably not Arbeck. I mean, I mean, uh, Arbeck. Maybe Lefroy. Oh, out. Okay. To do, because to do, I think, a suit back, but in a suit. Not soot. 
So what are you getting? It's actually quite refined smoke, isn't it?、Mm. That's why we called it smoky sophistication because we weren't a hundred percent sure it was peated at first, but then as the as the glass evaporates, you do get more and more of the smokiness. But it's quite gentle.、Mm. Everything is sort of gentle, isn't it? A vanilla, very subtle and subtle mint. More vanilla as well. Oh, back in the full glass. It's really rich, but you're right. There is vanilla and sherry mix.、Mm. I think. Nectarine.、Mm, uh, yeah, nectarine. See, it's got that.、Um, now you do get sherry hogsheads, so it doesn't necessarily have to be. I think sherry hogsheads are more and more common now, aren't they? But it not. It's not necessarily European. Oh, marzipan. Nandi marzipan nutty beautiful is after the、uh, caramelized barrel. A caramelized barrel. Well, that's right. That's why they toast the barrels to caramelize the barrel. Literally.、Uh, Now, overall, this is more sweet dessert than smoke. It doesn't have any sour. It's not like long row funkiness type of thing, is it? It's um. Um, oh, oh, big onion! That's getting more Isla-ish now, though, isn't it? At first, we thought maybe this is a Highland peat, like an Ardmore or something. Hmm.、Uh, uh, big onion. Pickled onion. We sometimes get pickled onion, a little bit of vinegar if there's Olorosa. But, but overall, everything is very subtle. I pick up all the different、Ooh. flavors. Let's start watery. How are we doing for time? Okay, not bad. Actually, it's fantastic. Now I think it is strong, so I'm going to go for the full water version. Now, by full water, I mean I put half equal measurements water to whiskey, more or less, for the first sip. If it's peated, I want to see if that plasticine rubber tires comes out, because that's what tends to happen with too much water in peat. Hmm. I was like, I was going to say no. It's more like lemon, but it is there. It's like lemon followed by rubber tires. Oh, lemon oil. And、uh, spiced flowers. Is it worth spiced? Spiced flowers, Deepa was saying. Quite a little bit of prickly heat. On that, even though it is watered down, it's very oily. Let me bring my strength. That's a fat. I mean, fatty oil. Yeah, so a little bit of the plasticine rubber tires, but but then the honey vanilla is there as well, plus maybe a little bit of sherry. So this could be a blend. It almost almost made me think. Is it something like a Japanese nika,、mm. which is heavily, heavily peated for Japanese? Five minutes. Hmm. But the first step, I got a touch of lemon. Touch of lemon. It does turn to sweet sherry. Lemon, then sweeter sherry. A lot of. Very nice pepper. It's just like prickly heat, which really kind of carries through the whole thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. The second half is a good on. Okay. Now, not that complex though. Just really well balanced. How strong do you think that is? Fifty-five, fifty-four. Okay, so probably not above fifty-five. Let's do a comparison. It's beautiful, but but the finish is sort of dipped. Yeah, let's、bit. go again. So it, it could be yeah, but at the same time, it's old from the days. It feels old, maybe fifty years. The smoke seems very light.、Mm. I mean, I was thinking of that Kilhoman. Now, is it light or is it integrated? Because I would say at the moment the smokiness is coming across more like somewhere between Springbank and Long Row levels. That's beautifully integrated. Hmm. 
Let's do a comparison. Let's see what Deepa thinks. Um, Better or worse? Uh, let me nose it. Oh, well, that is definitely a bit more... Fishy. A bit more fishy, yeah. A bit more f funky, strange. Fishy apple? Yeah, this is... Has more character, but is more simple. More on this. So... Lagavulin from an 11. Now you really like this. Yeah, but not a But prefer. this is better. Yes. Is it possible it's a Lagavulin? They both had the same kind of glassy um, texture. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Better or worse? Ooh. It's, it's also sophisticated, but it's oh, it is good. Mm. Oh, those are both very close. I give an it to this. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. <clears throat> now, that though is Lagavul in eighteen. <clears throat> which is just outside the wow. top 10. So I thought this was going to be much better. It's a little bit fresher flavors. Yeah. But, okay, one more, one more comparison. Let's do this. Now this is quite a bit stronger, so I'm gonna take some water. Mm, okay. Well, that's great, but it's in a different way. It's, uh, the flavor is but thinner. Yeah, but get more flavor, more sweet. I can tell you that's 57%, so let's see the strength on this now. Mmm. No, I think this soccer, that that one. That was 57. Now, we did have water before, but it does come across as quite punchy, doesn't mm. it? Now, I'm not sure if it's the pepper. So maybe it is higher. Let's go. We're almost out of time. Quick review of the painting. Um, did I say... What did I say, Greg? Lefroy 18. I don't know what I said. Yes, it's Lefroy 18. Did I say Lagavulin or something? <laughs> So the painting, oh, time is up. There is a lot of very balanced flavors in there. But the pepperiness that goes throughout is really nicely integrated as well. I think the thing we keep coming back to is this is balanced and integrated, isn't it? Mm. Which, similar to the Lefroy 18, which makes me think it could be the Lagavulin 19. That's probably why I said Lagavulin, because we do have one of those in the list. Uh, let's bring up the list. Because we have, um, we don't have that many to choose from, I don't think, in this higher ABV. Let's see, I don't think it's funky like a long row. Could be a, it could be the Port Charlotte. It could be Port Charlotte. Oh no, hang on, that's only eight years old. Corrivrecken. Do you think it could be Corrivrecken at 57%? Possible. But I didn't think it was art. It could be though. Ashy? Could be. Kladak, Octomore, Ardmore, another Octomore. I'm not picking up the ashiness of Artbeck. It could be Lagavul in 12 year old. 56. Is it possible it's Highland Park? I know that Lagavulin I mentioned. The Beaumont is dark. Ooh. I think, hang on. 
Highland Park, 54%. Ex bourbon. I don't think so because it's not a heathery smoke. But we also were thinking sherry though, weren't we? You mean they're not sherry? No. The Lagavulin 19 is sherry hogsheads. I know that. Or it's a sherry finish or something like that. So it could be that. I don't know if the sherry in this Lagavulin 12, this is the, well, it's an older one, 2012 version. Hang on, where are we putting this on the shelf? We're saying better than Kilcarran, not quite. What about local barley? Would you prefer it? Uh, 25 years, maybe a year. But I need to try I think I think it's, I think we're up here somewhere. You know what, if this Glen Scotia 19 is peated, it could be that, although that is ex-bourbon. Um, we mentioned the Cladac. Ardmore, six, oh no, hang on, 57%. Ardmore, but 10 years old. We even thought, is it possible it's something like a, Brooklady 19 year. Um, the older ones did have a little bit of peat in, but this is too peated, isn't it? I think, I don't think it's the Glen Scotia. No, because I prefer to spend more uh, recent Sultanas. Sultanas? I think it's one of these three. Now, 57%. 56%. So this is the percent order. 57, 56, 54, roughly. Oh. Oh, there's a lovely burst of lemon on that. That's so interrupted. This is Lagavulin Offerman again. I'm trying to decide, could it be Lagavulin? Tastes so weak by comparison now. I probably think it'll be V. Uh, 46. It, they both have a similar glassy roundness. I don't think it's 57%. I think it's this. 57? Well, uh, you give me 57 earlier on probably that one. It's 57. Kill Homer. Yeah, so it's so many threats. Okay, I think it could be this lag of woolen. But nineteen, yeah, fine. I think this is quite young. It's a no age statement. But with the pen, that the guy pen is up to years. That's true. It could be. Right, let's bring up the chat and see what people are thinking. I know Tim Donner Pass before the show started. He actually guessed this one. Maybe you've put it in my mind, Tim. He said just based on the name. Smoky sophistication. So Tim is definitely the earliest. Is it Isla peat? It is woody char peat, peat head. Had European oak, European oak sherry hog's head. Oh, so that's possible as well. So confusing, isn't it, Tim? Right. Uh, any other guesses? Whiskey 101, sticking with the Ardmore 10 signatory. I've never had that bottling, though. It's above 56%. Yes, it could be, because that's an Ardmore finished in a Laphroaig cask. So what kind of peat would that be? It could be Whiskey 101. Right, I better jump down and get on with the reveal because we're already 20 minutes in. Any other guesses? Not Curry Vrecken, that's way lighter. You need another camera. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bobby J, I think you were guessing the Lagavulin as well, weren't you? Uh, I guessed the Offerman. Oh, you did. Right. I think. Last taste. Hmm. Oh, that is classy, isn't it? But that's bad for me to say, it's a stream, diamondized, 
maybe syrup. Ice cream, caramelised maple syrup. But then, but then not with not nuts. Be. It is sweet, and I think Lagavulin's is probably the sweeter of mm. Isla whiskies. But this is likely to be sweet as well because but it's I'm a blend. Not, but this, I'm not. After we pick it up, of course. Brian, I hear pick it up, Brian. Only on the empty glass from yesterday. This is Inchgower, Kleinlish, Talisker, Oban. Oh, Lagavulin. And Colila. Now, Colila can be like this as well, can't oh, it? Oh, yeah. It's a uh, sweet smoke. Okay. Are you ready for Seven. the reveal? ABV. Oh! Ooh, 54. Ooh. It could be. I think I'm still in. It is 19 oh. years old. Wow, we only paid 165 for this. It I is. We were there. We battered by this, by this stuff. It in is Lagavulin. So, just to be absolutely sure, Lagavulin 19, distillery bottle, Feshiel 2019 cask strength. This works out at. Wow, we paid $165 at the Lagavulin. That is expensive. That pretty really expensive. Are you crazy? This is a $400 bottle oh, now. Nah. If oh. you look in the auction. Oh. $6.9 per year. I can tell you, just for comparison, um, you like the Offerman I, I like so it. much that we went searching for another bottle and we had to buy it at Healthy Spirits, which is has a great selection, but it's not cheap. I speak. Oh, three days ago. But it is the reason they still had one on the shelf, but it was 165 <gasps> with the taxes. And so we paid more for an Offerman than we paid for the 19 Fashil. And oh, this no, is... I, I prefer to ask this over this. Of course, but... Th- I mean, this is double the whiskey Very that this sad. is. Or three times the whiskey that this is. Well, they're both on the shelf. Hang on. I've just realised. Hang on, I need to give myself some fireworks. And some fireworks for Tim. Who else got that? Bobby J, uh, are you working for the FBI, Donna Pass Whiskey? <laughs> what are you saying, Tim? Okay, for everyone else who got it, Tim, Bobby got it. Uh, Tim, you're going to be guessing because you were so early. But we got this. Oh, I should have had the video. Go and look up the video of um, us giving Ian MacArthur some. Uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but Lagavulin Distillery Tour, you'll find it in our our uh, tube channel. But it was a fantastic it's tasting. The character. I, think the character. Ian, I don't know if he's retired. He said he was retiring and that was two years ago. And then with COVID, maybe he just called it. But we have a tiny sip left of a whiskey from that tasting. This is Lagavulin, 1997, 22-year-old, 51.8%, and it's probably ex-bourbon. But I know we tasted the 19 at the distillery, and... Um, but we never did this one. No, we did. It was the first one. And we went through all the others, and we actually liked this one maybe the best. Should have bought some more bottles. Okay, you go first. I'm just going to combine anything I have left. Wow, very oily, creamy. Is it ex-bourbon, do you think, this one? Yeah, it's more ex-bourbon. It's sweet, very good. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is fantastic. Very good. Get a little bit of that pineapple. Oh. Very sleek. I'm hiding this one from Deepa. Oh, it would be better safe. Get I'm heavy. I'm heavy. It's... No, I'm having it. Okay. Okay, let's have a last sip. No, 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 I'm no. I'm going to no. take my half because I'm not letting Deepa go first. No way. Oh, that is good. I get enough of it, but that's exactly. Good. 
Exactly. That's why <laughs> she didn't go first. That has a lovely kind of pineapple and smoke. Wow. And back to today's. Mmm. Getting more punchy. More yuck. Would you rather have this or or these? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to be up here somewhere. Which means we're going to say goodbye to Aaron18. Maybe a few more. We might do a little clean out on the reshuffle. Of Aaron18. Not today. There's the bottle. We have actually shared quite a lot of this. It's down to here. And I know some of you have had the chance to try it. Maybe, Tim, did you try some? I am dying to know what this Lagavulin 12 is like, but it's still in blind. Because a lot of people say the 12 is a fantastic whiskey. Oh. But we have a little bit here. We have a little bit here. We've probably got not quite half a bottle. Okay, over to the chat. Let's see. Um, well done, Donna Pass. Richard Jones. Wow. I'm not sure wow what the wow was for. Let's see. Tim is saying, wow, fill side, bottom shelf, back corner. Now we're down to one row. Look, Tim, you're going to expose shelf, but I'm going to fill it as we go. Tim, I know we should have been meeting up today. We were going to have a little get together over here, but didn't quite work out. 197. Tim, Tim D, you're going to be. <laughs> Do we have any glasses left? Let's see what Tim is. Now, of course, Tim, you might have picked us a bourbon. We have not had a bourbon for such a long time. Uh, what are we going to get? It is quite dusty, Tim. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Are we in bourbon territory? Have you done it, Tim? Let's go. Let's let Deepa go first. It looks quite pink to me, actually. Oh, it's got to be strong. It's not bourbon, but it is quite unusual. I thought it was going to be a lot stronger based on the bubbles, but it actually wasn't that I strong. I think it could be bourbon. It's very thin. <laughs> <laughs> could it be bourbon? Because it's very thin, very watery. Not bourbon. Right, let's see. What else is the chat saying? Oh, fireworks for Lucas as well. So we've got a few people. Wow. Lucas, Bob, Tim. Uh, I, I did not get this. Yes, and me. I think that's I, it. I've given five book to all of you. Oh, Bob, you used to race cars in your younger days. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> Nick Keen, the Lagavulin tasting with Ian was our Isla holiday highlight. Mm, I can imagine. Us. Ours was quite rowdy because there was about 40 people in. And a few drams in, it was getting quite a rowdy and atmosphere. I one person who does not drink whiskey, but he was so nice with yeah. that person. Yeah. And there was a lady who wanted Coke in hers. But that's what I meant. And Ian had Coke on hand for that moment. Because, <laughs> you know, he he is not precious about the whiskey at all. He's like, it's only whiskey. And another thing he does is pour you know, 20, 25 year old like a villain over someone's head. <laughs> but he ever threw the floor in the that's right. episode. Yeah, we've seen that before as well, where he's poured it and someone says, oh, that's a lot. And he's taken the glass and he's thrown it on the floor, not the glass, the whiskey. So quite the entertainer. Yes, I can believe it. Donna Pass, I'm a big fan of the dark ones. So cool. Great. I think the name Smoky Sophistication was spot on for a 19 year Lagavulin, Indian Pete Head. Yeah, thanks for that. Mm. Because because it was so integrated, but there was sophistication. Because there was so many 
small flavors happen at the same time. Yeah. Dozen people at our tasting. Magic. Oh, that mm. sounds great. I do wonder if Ian has retired. I'll have to look it up to see. It. Does anyone know if he retired? Uh, mm. Right. We're getting into slideshow territory. Oh, no, not the stupid bandwidth again. I can see it. I can see it choking. This is frustrating me like mad because I have paid to upgrade the bandwidth. I restart the router before every show. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely choking. Well, with that, we will say, no, nope, not that. We will say thanks for watching. And we will see you at the next one.